really important topic in exams and in the real world STEMI or ST elevation MI. So let's get started. In the first picture, you see these blue lines that are pointing towards, blue arrows are pointing towards the ST segment that you see is elevated. First and foremost, you must know what the J point is. So the J point is the point between the QRS complex and the start of the ST segment. The points where this meets is called the J point. You must compare J point to the baseline that is where the uh, PER uh, segment basically it is on the Y axis. So any elevation would be of the J point above the baseline that you see. Now, a STEMI would be a new ST segment elevation in the J, at the J point in two contagious leads. It is more than 0.1 MB or one small box in the Y axis in all leads other than V2, V3. Contagious leads means leads of a particular area of the heart. V1, 2, 3, 4 for interior leads, 5, 6, V5, 6 and AVL for the lateral leads, lead 2, 3, AVF for the inferior leads. So except V2, V3, one small box on the Y axis elevation at the J point new is a STEMI. And what do you say about V2, V3? Well, there are high amplitude leads. So V2, V3, more than 2 millimeter in men who are more than 40 years, 2.5 millimeter in men who are less than 45 years or more than 1.5 millimeter in women, regardless of age. Let's go to examples. Right here, you see that there is an ST segment elevation. The J point is above the baseline in V1, 2, 3 and 4. So it is an interior wall STEMI. It is more than 2.5. So easily, there is no point. A man less than 40, above 40, no man, it is a STEMI. The next figure that we have, anterior leads are also as elevated and the V5 and V6 is also elevated. So it's an interior lateral MI. In this lead, uh, in this picture that you see right here, lead two, three, AVF it is elevated also you see that there is a depression a very strong depression in V1 2 3 and 4 so uh, this means it is a posterior wall MI you see reciprocal changes in the interior leads it is an ST depression and inferior leads there is an elevation it is an example of a posterior wall MI this example of an inferior wall MI, 2, 3 AVF have ST elevations. So this is it. I hope you can better diagnose STEMI or ST elevation MI now.